Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick little update video. Um, today's June 4th. Uh, it's been a couple days since I last made the videos. So yesterday, or June 2nd, the day after uh, my initial screening with FC, FCS, FSC, family, I don't know. So my initial screening with basically the family therapist, um, I need to figure that out what that is, but anywho, back. So on June 2nd, so this is the day after I had my meeting with FCS, um, they, I got an email from my coordinator, Sunny, saying that she had great news, that FCS approved us to continue scheduling your screening in L.A. There are a few more things we need to take care of locally before we get to those steps to include finding your parents on this journey. I would like to schedule a video call with you and me to go over matching and some local lab work we need to send you for. Blah, blah, blah. Can we please give me a good time? Basically, we need to do another um, video meeting. And then, so we did that, <clears throat> so we made actually an appointment for just the next day because I happened to be available in the morning. Um, so we did a video call, like, on Ring Central again, and it was um, super nice to get to finally see Sunny's face because I've just been talking to her um, through via email and phone. And um, so she just called me to just ask me a couple questions. Um, there was, like, a couple things that popped up so when I sent I sent over all of my um all of my uh, um history of my labors and my uh, pregnancies and so when she was looking that over she saw that there was a note from my doctor when I was about 36 weeks that like I was feeling depressed and feeling blah 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 with that and all this stuff and she also said that she read that it was because my eight-year-old at the time had had a seizure and so that had happened my son had a random seizure um, he never had him before and it was literally like the scariest thing in my life like I didn't sleep for weeks because I was so afraid something was going to happen I thought like maybe he had this like brain tumor and so it was just a lot of unknown um, until we finally figured out that it was like um, he just has a brain wave that he's prone to have seizures and I won't know if he's going to have another one he hasn't had one since um but it was really scary and I was eight months pregnant. I was feeling very overwhelmed that I was going to have a newborn and like maybe this new diagnosis of my son. Um, and so she just asked about that and she was like, no, that's totally reasonable. Um, she just had to ask because obviously they want to know if I like got put on any medications or went to therapy or anything, which I didn't. I just like, I loved my OB and I was venting to her, you know, that I was overwhelmed and, um, so yeah, it was okay. There was that. We kind of cleared that up. And then um, she asked me, then we kind of started talking about like, um, about like the match process and like kind of like what I expected from that and what we want to do. So yeah, she um, kind of went over um, the same thing of like what I had wrote that who I would be willing to work with um, in my application. And just wanted to see if I still felt um, the same way I did when I filled that out, which I did. Um, again, I had kind of told you guys in the last video that I am open to working with whoever. The only thing that I um, I'm not open to working with is um, out of country intended parents. Just for my preference, only being that I would just like someone a little bit more local that I can kind of build that relationship with, someone who can maybe come to doctor's appointments, um, and then maybe you know just someone who's um, going to be closer and I don't feel like, you know, something scary is going to happen and then they're not, they're going to be so far away. Yeah. But so then she just asked me like about, she, um, about like the same dads and having um, two dads be my intended parents, which I told her like, obviously I would love that. That was my first kind of um, hope for intended parents. But then I also just let her know like, it's not that I that I just want two dads. It's that I just want um, more of like a relationship is what I'm looking for like out of this. So if she finds like a couple or a single mom or someone that she feels like me and her are just really going to vibe well, um, then I would totally be open to that. I'm not like dead set on having um, two dads as the intended parents or even just one dad. 
Um, so yeah, so we just kind of went over that. Um, then also she went over kind of like the tough questions, um, which were, um, you know, if the parents would want to terminate the pregnancy due to like medical terms, like say that there's something wrong with the baby medically, um, genetically, anything like that. And you have to say whether you're okay with that. They want to know if you're okay with termination if, um, say that they implant two embryos and then it, you know, um, splits and then there's three embryos and then the parents feel like it's not safe and they want to terminate one of those babies. You have to say like whether you feel comfortable doing that. They ask if, um, you know, you're okay with like an amniocentesis and, um, I feel like I said that wrong, amniocentesis. But yeah, they want to know if you're okay with like stuff like that. And I just said that I'm okay with the amniocentesis synthesis, I can't say that word, um, because I just, you know, if it were me and I wanted to do that, I would like to have that option. So obviously I want these intended parents to feel the same way that they have these options. So we went over that and then, um, everything was pretty much the same that I had filled out on my application. So it was pretty easy. We actually finished up pretty quickly and she said it was, you know, normally these can go longer, but because everything was kind of the same, um, we were okay. And then I'm trying to think like what else we talked about. Um, oh, we talked about like my support person who like I would have like there for me if I have like besides my support person, like if I have like other people to support me. And obviously I told him like, yeah, you know, I have a village. So I have lots of friends and lots of family. Everyone kind of, you know, thinks I'm crazy, but also um, is very supportive of me. And then I also um, she asked like who would be coming down to L.A. with me for my transfer and, you know, things like that, just kind of like more like for the future stuff. So everything looks like it's kind of on going on like the right track. So I'm really happy with where we're at right now. Um, again, I know it can change at any point. Um, I'm just kind of trying to make these videos in the moment. So that way, like, even if I don't get to like the actual, you know, pregnancy part of this, at least like you guys can see like what it takes to get to that point. Um, I'm really hopeful that I will get all the way and that um, I'll pass all like the medical screening and all that stuff with flying colors. Um, so I'm excited. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. And I will keep you guys updated on the next steps. So this was the first initial screening with my coordinator. Okay, bye guys.